Hello, this is Mike Boche, and today I want to do a quick video on the fastest SSD enclosure I've tested to date, the Acasis TB501 Pro Thunderbolt 5 NVMe enclosure. Make sure you stick around and watch the rest of this video to learn more about this enclosure, and don't forget to like and subscribe as it really does help support the channel. Full disclosure, when I found out about this SSD enclosure, I reached out to Acasis and they graciously agreed to send it to me for this review. They haven't paid for or influenced this video in any way, nor have they seen the video before it was published. Let's start out by looking at the hardware. In the box, you get a Thunderbolt 5 cable, thermal pads, and we'll talk more on the thermal pads later in the video, rubber mounts for the SSD, a short instruction manual, drive adapters for smaller SSDs, and of course the enclosure itself. The first look at the enclosure, you can see that there's an active cooler on this device. There are openings on the side for ventilation, and at the end you have the Thunderbolt USB-C connector and the fan switch. In the past, I've complained about other enclosures that the fan couldn't be disabled, but this design actually hits the mark. First and foremost to me is that the fan is off by default. And the switch has to be held down for a couple seconds to actually enable or disable the fan. As this enclosure only supports PCIe 4.0, I'm using the Samsung 990 Pro, which has a theoretical speed of 7,450 megabytes a second. Installing the drive is super easy, only requiring a small rubber plug to hold down the drive itself. Once the drive is in, you need to apply the thermal pad to the drive. I did want to point out that there is a minor issue that I ran into with the thermal pads when I was using this drive. Depending on the drive that you're using, you may need to make sure that you're using the right thickness as a pad. It comes with two pads, a 0.5 and a 1 millimeter. But what I found when using this drive, that both were too thin to make any actual contact to the lid. And even though you can stack up pads to get 1.5 millimeter, even that was actually too thin to make sufficient contact to the lid. There is a small cutout in the lid to make room for thicker drives. However, this makes it a little more challenging when using a drive like the 990 Pro. In order to make sufficient contact and get the pad to even touch the lid, I had to use a 2mm thermal pad, which doesn't come with the device. These pads are really inexpensive and I would suggest getting one in advance if you plan on using this drive enclosure combination. I'll leave a link to the pad that I used in the event that you end up getting one with this particular enclosure drive combination. Now that we have the drive with proper thermal contact, let's take a look at some benchmarks. To test this enclosure, I'll be using the Mac Mini Pro with Thunderbolt 5 ports and the M2 Mac Studio, which comes standard with Thunderbolt 4 ports, so we can see both backwards compatibility as well as compare the difference between Thunderbolt 4 and Thunderbolt 5. Looking at the Blackmagic Disk Speed Test, we can see the performance boost we get from running Thunderbolt 5. The Thunderbolt 4 performance matches the hyperdrive, which currently is the fastest Thunderbolt 4 performance I've seen to date. And it's pretty obvious that the extra bandwidth of Thunderbolt 5 allows the drive to achieve much better performance that would otherwise be slowed by the Thunderbolt 4 interface. Looking at the results of Amorphous Disk Mark, we can see the same trend in producing maximum Thunderbolt 4 performance and more importantly, taking advantage of the extra bandwidth of Thunderbolt 5. Even if you don't have a computer that can take advantage of Thunderbolt 5, it still makes a great purchase, providing maximum performance for your current hardware and allowing you to take advantage of the new Thunderbolt 5 controller when you upgrade your hardware. In summary, let me start by saying this is by far the best and the fastest enclosure a Casus has made to date. It beats my current daily drivers, the Zyke Drive and the Hyperdrive, even at Thunderbolt 4 speeds. So even if you currently don't have Thunderbolt 5, this is still the one you get. If you do have Thunderbolt 5, it will rival the speed of many internal SSDs. Their design and fan implementation is the best so far, and even when it's running, it's not nearly as loud as previous Acasis enclosures that have active cooling. The only minor complaint I had was the thermal pad issue, as most people won't catch that issue, and without proper contact, it might cause the controller to throttle. I do think they need to address that by adding a 2mm pad option and some of the additional detail in the instructions. Despite this minor issue, this is the best enclosure I've used to date and will now be my daily driver. Again, a special thanks to Acasis for sending me this device to test. Please don't forget to like and subscribe 
Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.